Hi, so I wanted to make a video of how to use Autodesk's CNC utility um, for use with our milling machines here at Fab Lab, but uh, I need to show off uh, a really crazy bug I ran into first, uh, which is that when um, machining materials over a half inch thick, so anything besides the plywood, um, the first move that the code makes is to uh, dive really deep into the stock. So uh, I have my open SCAM simulator here uh, with the G-code exported. I'll, I'll go through the whole process here in a sec. But the first movement it makes is straight down into the material, which is a really good way to break a milling bit. Um, and I'll just show that with uh, a half inch material, so with if I go to uh, the plywood, so if I, if I don't touch any of the settings in the CNC utility, then um, exported file appears to work. I mean, yeah, with a half-inch material, it works great. It goes down to the surface um, and starts going about its business. But whether I change um, the thickness of the material or even if I change the safety height, so say I don't, I don't want to take the time to come up um, a half inch um, for my jog height uh, in the CNC utility, if I change my jog height to, say, eighth an inch, then what I get is, so I'll open that file, eighth an inch jog the first move is still to dive down a half inch and then come back up to the surface um, so that's not how it's supposed to work I'm pretty sure um, and I can if we can look at the G code we can see what's happening so I have three files up here the first one is uh, basically keeping everything the same, having a, a half inch, uh, half inch thick stock and a half inch jog height. Uh, we can see the first movements in Z is uh, the, the first Z coordinate is uh, a half inch up in the air and then moving down to the stock surface at Z zero. Now with a two inch um, stock and still having that half inch jog height, what we get, and this is the, the first model I showed you, uh, was that uh, so it comes a half inch off the surface as its first z-coordinate. The second z-coordinate is to be negative 38 millimeters, so that's like 3.8 centimeters, you know, around two inches, one and a half inches into the stock. And this is with an eighth inch bit. I mean, that's it. It, it doesn't. I shouldn't go down that deep. Um, actually, the the way the workaround I found the last time I, I needed to use this was to just change that z-coordinate to zero, or of course you could just take it out because the next time it happens it's right. So all you have to do is remove that first Z coordinate uh, and save the file and then that same file I, I opened up at the beginning of the video is going to be fine. Was that foam or wax? Okay so that was before it's coming down negative 38 millimeters uh, but after I take out that one Z coordinate, that first line that says negative 38, um, it should be this one. Yeah. So n this should be more like it, that it comes down to the stock surface Anyway, it doesn't dive into it. So that's, that's the way I worked around it, um, but that really should export a little bit differently. So that's, um, that's my example to you, how that export function is acting really strangely. Hope that helps.